Today I'm sharing seven and a half more free things you can use in your junk journals with lots of examples in different journals. In a total, there are 15 free things I'm sharing with you. So if you missed the 7.5 previous ones, please see the video linked below this video. So let's start with this journal here from 2020. So here I have a little flip out booklet. <laughs> it was about what I eat in a day. It's from February 2020 and it just folds out like this. So it's made from one sheet. As you can see, it was just a square and then I folded it and rounded the corners to have this little fold out booklet. So booklets don't always just have to open like a regular book. So yummy what I was eating. <laughs> I should do more of this again. Wow, this makes me salivate. <laughs> Good to have a reminder. But I must say, I don't use booklets that often in my journals because of course they do create quite a bit of bulk. So keep that in mind. I added a little booklet into this cute pocket tied it with some fluffy yarn. The cover is made out of wallpaper. I used a three hole pamphlet stitch and just added some fun papers inside to make like a mini journal. Category eight is brochures and tickets. So going back into my current planner, I have added a few in here. So for example, here I have a ticket of Disneyland Paris and I glued that down as a pocket into which I added some more train tickets from Paris. And then I glued on this brochure here as a another pocket so just gluing it on these three sides and that opens up and that is a map of a part of Paris with lots of beautiful antique shopping for DFEM November 2022 and actually 2021 we made our own tickets so here I made large ones just by using cardstock punching out the corners and making this perforated edge here in the middle and then just decorating it as you please. I think these are super fun. In Nadja's journal, I used a ticket as a pocket. I used my heat gun on this, which is why it turned black in some spots, which I really like. Just added this die cut butterfly sewed around the edges. And in this pocket, I have my plane ticket, which I mounted onto some collaged cardstock, journaled on the back and added this image here from a pharaoh from a gift bag. And then here's another example of using a brochure. This is kind of a strange construction here. <laughs> So this is the title page of the brochure, which I made into a pocket on a flip out. Inside here, I have a sheet with notes. As you can see, I added a little banner here. Then I added my name sign here into which I stuck my notes from my presentation that I gave. So this was from a high school career fair. Added some photos here from the fair and this also comes out here so yeah this is kind of a <laughs> strange constructed uh, spread it's definitely a more fun way to keep your ephemera than just keeping it in a folder or something i love the next category and i can't add enough of this into my journals and it's altered packaging. There's so many different kinds of materials and shapes of packaging and we can always find ways to use them in our journals. So I have plenty of examples of those. So in my 2022 Defem Rember journal, I used a lot of snack packaging. 
so these are from i think they were taiwanese mango jelly pockets <laughs> And since this was too short and I wanted to use it as a pocket, I first sewed this onto some cardstock to just make it wider, but this is actually a double pocket. So I could put something in here as well. And then in the back pocket, I have this tag. We can even use things like cans. So these leaves, which are the body of the flamingo, are just die cuts made from a juice can. Of course, we can always use the pull tabs of cans as well. Super fun. And Louisa Heinzel added this pocket here from Guitar Strings. I just altered it a bit by opening it more. Here again, I used some packaging from a snack. Love when they have some see-through parts. You can collage on them as well. Again, a pocket. This one is made from Genmai Cha, so it's loose green tea with roasted rice. Again, a little bit of collaging and a fun window. Louise used some tea packaging here and here as embellishments, super fun. Here I made a pocket out of some candy wrappers <laughs> and I added a circular acetate window and these uh, hinges from a paper bag. Then we have our sweet little shoebill bird. He's collaged onto some packaging, as we can see here on the back side from some distressed mica stain. In Honey's journal, I have some leaf die cuts here used on snacks packaging. I have a whole video where I show you how I made these embellishment made, made out of snack packages. We have some more here in blue. And this feather embellishment is also partially made with snack packaging. So these red and black ones here, these two are hand cut feathers and this one here is using a Tim Holtz feather die cut. Here I used a cloth tag and a tissue paper that was a wrapping for something, I don't remember what, and I used that as a journaling card and I just love this so much. Clothes tags are so much fun. This page here is made out of a chocolate box. So these pieces were together and I cut them apart and one became the tuck spot and one became a tag. And as you can see, both pieces are decoupaged with napkin. The next category is fabric, lace and trims. Lots of uses for those. Of course, we can use fabric to make fun fabric tabs on our pages. We can use trim on the sides. We can use lace on the edges of pockets and as embellishments. We can use lace on top of a tag as a tag topper. We can use fabric as a pocket. This was a vintage napkin. A fun lace trim here on the edge of this page. Here's a whole tag made out of fabric. This is really cute as well. You can use lace as a tuck spot. Again, a trim here as an embellishment. Here we have a simple piece of fabric as a flip up for like a secret journaling spot for example there's another one here here's some very delicate lace used as a collage element here's another example of a hand stitched fabric used as a pocket fabric used as collage elements Fabric used as a background and also to make this cute little tag. <laughs> Here again, another beautiful lace pocket. 
And two more pages that I really love. One is this one where I added trims of all my favorite lace and just glued those down. So simple and so cute. There's some fabric collaged here on this belly band, which is actually removable. There's also fabric on this side. And I also have one of those pages with the samples of fabric. Here we go. Again, super simple, just glued down the fabrics that I was into at the time. Always fun to come back to. You can use fabric to wrap around your paper clips and then just add charms. In this little journal, I used fabric as pages, which I hand stitched on, which is really nice because you have the design, of course, on both sides. Same thing here. And here's a piece where it has a printed design, but I love having these soft pages in between the more stiff ones. You can add lace and doilies to your pages like this. I showed this in a recent video. I have three examples of these in here. Here's the second one. And here's the third one. Simple but beautiful. This next category is also one I really, really love, which is recycled art. I think many of us have created pages in the past in journals that are not full or we would just have a couple of pages or pieces of art just laying around that don't have a home and it's really fun to take those and put them in a more current journal to make them come to life again. So I have a few examples of those as well. For example, this was in a journal that I made so many years ago, 2016. I didn't like the whole spread, but I do like it now in this cut out form in this new journal. So now this makes me happy again. This here was from another journal where I just used a couple of the pages. The rest was empty. I knew I was never going to fill up that journal. So I tore the page out and now it's in this planner. More examples here. So I made this belly band out of a book page that I had created these fun designs on. Just stuck a collage element on top, makes it a whole new piece of art and I love it. And inside <laughs> I stuck this drawing from 2015. There's another one here. <laughs> There's another piece of that collage actually that I showed you before of this one. And see, by just cutting it up, putting something else on top, it makes it a whole new piece. Again, in here, I stuck an old drawing from 2014. Oh my goodness, this is nine years ago. <laughs> Again, this background was from an altered book. Here's another piece of art that's from 2016 and I just recolored it and added this star here on top. Another way to recycle art is to take photos of it like I showed you before with the jeans journal. Here I took a photo of a piece that I made for a colleague of mine. Always fun to keep those in your journal. Another category I love and use quite often are handmade stamps. I have a collection here of these handmade stamps. Most of them are just cut out of foam and mounted onto some packaging. You can use corrugated cardboard, makes an excellent stamp. You can of course also cut stamps out of linoleum. Or you can make them out of this type of rubber, which is similar to an eraser. And of course, you can make stamps out of old erasers as well. Lots of fun options for you there. So even just circular shapes like this are a really fun element. I used my handmade tree stamps quite a bit in my Defemerember 2021 journal here. 
So here's an example of one of my small tree stamps. And again, I have a whole video dedicated to how I make my tree stamps. So this is a fun way to add your stamp. You stamp it once and then you stamp it partially again on another page that goes on top. Here I used my tree stamp on a jelly plate. Here's another one as a collage element on a book page colored with watercolors. Here's one of a bird on a tuck spot where I added a sparkly bead for his eye. Here's an example of the negative. So I stamped it and then I cut around it and that makes a fun element, especially when you have an interesting background behind it. Here's another one used as a focal point in a collage. This was stamped on collage fodder I received from my friend Honey. There's another one here. I usually will stamp these as you probably noticed in black because it's just such an interesting contrast. Another really fun category is of course buttons, especially if they're vintage and you can just cut those off your old clothes, your children's clothes, your friend's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can also find these very cheap at flea markets. We can add them as dangles to our journals. So fun. We can add them as part of a closure like I did here. So I cut this part off of a girl's jeans jacket and this comes off completely. So there's one here and one here that I can just fasten this onto. Here I cut off two jeans buttons to add as embellishments on this handle of a paper bag love this you've seen this before but i just wanted to remind you that you can make your own handmade buttons by just gluing an image onto a cardboard and adding two holes to it there's your button there's one here as the center of this handmade flower there's another one here on this flower made out of wallpaper with a die cut you know, this video is so fun for me to make because I'm, of course, flipping through all of my old journals and it's so fun to see everything again. There's one here on this journaling card using petals from Fabric Flowers. I also use the button here on this tuck spot and on this flower again from Fabric Flowers that I have taken apart. Another great category is postage stamps. We can collect them when we get them on letters in the mail, or maybe we have inherited some from our families. What I find really helpful is to have my stamps sorted by color. So then when I'm looking for a specific color for a specific collage, they are very easy to find. Some of these are organized by category. As you can see, these are all my floral ones. And if you're not sure how to take your stamps off of the letters, I have a video showing you how to do that as well. All my animals are here. Comics. Christmassy ones, etc., etc. Nadja has used one on the cover of her adorable journal dangle that she made for me. So Nadja is Art Alalai on Instagram, in case you want to check her out. She's the one that made this beautiful journal. The stamps are, of course, really great collage elements. In my personal journal here, I made a few collages using a lot of postage stamps. I absolutely adore these. This is from 2019. 
And I think this works so well because the colors work so well together and of course the theme. In this collage, we have them used as collage elements. We have some really old ones here. There's one here, there's some here in the background as well as this one. Maybe you have some old documents that have stamps on them like here for this tuck spot or here. Here again, it's used as a collage element. And by the way, this is a handmade button as well. And you could even decoupage them onto cardboard and make little dangles out of them. Like I did here for my charm for my Defemorember 2022 journal. So again, there's a video in the playlist for Defemorember 2022, where I show you how I make this dangle. And lastly, my favorite category of all, which is treasures you find in nature. For example, here on the binding, I have this piece of wood. Again, I have a series on how I made this using a paper bag. On this page, I have leaves that I found on a walk that I just added with some matte gel medium. Again, this was found on a walk. And you can, of course, use leaves to print like I did on this back cover. On my Defemorember 2021 journal, in my collage, I use this piece of twig, which I wrapped with wire and ribbon. We can, of course, collect and dry flowers and use them in our collages. You've seen this before. This was the pocket that I made out of collected dry leaves. Here, another leaf that I found and added with matte gel medium. And inside, we have a card onto which I added dried flowers. There's a poem in the back, actually. I really like using flower petals as collage elements. I use these hydrangea petals a lot. A lot of times I will sprinkle them with gold. Shells, of course, are a really fun element to add to covers. I probably wouldn't add them into my journal because of the bulk, but like this, they are just so fun. Here's another very small embellishment using the hydrangea petals. And for this page, I used little twigs which I painted in gold to make this nest on this girl's head. <laughs> in this collage, the nest is made out of, I don't know what the correct term is, but it's like seagrass that I found in the Red Sea on a vacation in Egypt. So always look for things you can find when you're out and about. They are so fun to use in your journals. So next time, before you buy all the things, check what you have at home. I'm sure you have much more than you realize. And maybe also just go through your old journals to get re-inspired with things you used to use, but you kind of forgot about. Love you guys. Mwah, mwah.